Hello everybody, my name is Nayan. I'm the Black Female Engineer. I provide content for new and aspiring software engineers and today is going to be super fun because I am answering your questions. If you follow me on Instagram, you knew you could ask me questions there, which I would feature on my QA video. If you don't follow me on Instagram, at the Black Female Engineer. But let's get to it. I'm going to be reading the questions off my laptop. And so if you all see me looking over here, that is why. But we're going to start off with Ronika Alexandria, who asks, how many hours did you dedicate to learning to code? And so I primarily learned to code through coding bootcamp. During my time there, I spent a about 10 hours a day. The bootcamp ran from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. every day, so already that's eight hours. And then I'll spend another like four hours um, still learning, still developing, still practicing. However, I would make sure to um, like step away and eat. Um, so let's say that's, you know, two hours for doing that. And so it does round it back to 10 hours a day of, yeah, just making sure that I was understanding and picking up what the teachers were talking about because it's so easy to, while you're in the class, to be like, oh yeah, 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 psh, like that makes total sense. And then you get to doing it by yourself and you're like, how in the world did two and two make four in this situation how so I really focus on practicing um, to do that but to answer your question it was about 10 hours a day going to the next question we have at eat now dot think later I like that um, they ask if you could redo your time at Flatiron what would you do differently I survived week one. Oh my goodness congratulations each week is a reason to celebrate like y'all this ain't it ain't no joke i think if i could have had certain stopping points of okay from five to six we eat dinner and just watch tv and don't talk to anyone and then we make sure we close the laptop at eight o'clock don't open it back up until you know the next morning make sure you had two hour breaks here i feel like i still would have gotten the same hours of practice in without it being as emotionally strenuous i personally did experience burnout and i um like my mental state definitely took their hits because I wasn't making myself stop because I was just so engulfed with the idea of I will make sure I end this with a job, a good paying job. And, you know, all of my efforts of the money going in here will not, you know, be go to waste. However, there are definitely right and wrong ways to go about that goal and I don't think mine was always the best way. I feel like if I did, you know, enact certain rules for myself to just make sure that my mental well-being was being of top priority, I feel like I still could have done that in a way that still would have given me the same if not better results that I got. Um, I love the results I got, I got a job, but I'm just saying I don't think like me doing it the way I did is the only way I would have gotten to where I ended to. But yeah, making sure I enact a certain rules for learning and breaks and stops for myself. The next question comes from Benjamin832 and they ask, can you do a review on New Camp since the curriculum seems good and it's very inexpensive at $1,800? Um, Benjamin, are you asking me <laughs> to do a whole nother boot camp? Is that what you're asking? And pay $1,800 for it? Is that what you're asking? Um, if that's what you're asking me to do, I am so sorry. I will not. I will, <laughs> I will not put myself through that again. Um, especially if I'm the one paying. Are you paying the $1,800? The $1,800? Or am I paying the $1,800? Um, let me know if that's what you mean. I could however um try to do some research on it and let you know what the consensus seems to be if that's what you mean i could look into that and i could like try to see um what the goods and bads are that the community says not that i say because again i'm not going through any of that again but yeah let me know if that's what you mean because that's a very uh important detail right there okay so next question comes from at PAA Willy 20 and they ask which company are you working with so I work 
for an e-commerce company they specialize in creating websites and web apps for companies in the e-commerce industry and so that's actually why i've been so busy right now i am under two different contracts at the moment one is phasing out and one right now the e-commerce company is phasing in and so i just started there i've been training and everything and so i just started there about a couple weeks ago and then i have a couple weeks left of contract one and so i'm in this overlap period where i'm working a lot a lot a lot working a lot so if you see me tired and everything that is why i'm hoping to be a lot more active on social media and everything in a couple of weeks when job one phases out so yeah that's the type of company i work with it's actually different from the company you all will hear me talking about in terms of um the job i got after boot camp and you know salaries and things like that because that job is set to start in the summer so in the meantime i've been doing temporary development work for different companies under different you know contracts and everything so I'm very much looking forward to that but yeah until I start that permanent role I'm choosing to keep that um, under wraps just you know like fingers crossed knock on wood I don't have any wood knock on wood but yeah okay so the next question comes from comp side Dixon who asks favorite programming language my favorite programming language, um, I guess programming framework, is React. I love, love, love React. People who have um, DM'd me and talked um, with me about their coding journey and everything know I love React. It just like flows really nicely. Now, that being said, it took me forever to actually start liking it. I just didn't understand it for the life of me for a very long time until I just started just practicing like crazy and it finally started clicking and i just really like the way react flows where javascript things are just kind of like have to go where they go and you just hope things work react has a very beautiful flow to it and i just love it so yeah that's my favorite programming language so next at King Kama asks, how long did you prepare yourself for your boot camp? And while in it, how did you take note? I prepared for specifically boot camp, I prepared about a month. I would make sure I would be doing, you know, courses on Code Academy, like JavaScript. Um, I would make sure that I was also going through their own pre boot camp um, material extensively. They provided us with about a hundred hours of pre boot camp material so yeah I went through that like crazy just making sure that day one I can really kick it off um, well because something with boot camp is like once you're behind you kind of like stay behind it's kind of like the mindset people have and they're not necessarily wrong now of course like if you're behind one day of course like there's ways you can catch up but yeah once you get to a certain point of being behind it's very hard to catch back up and so I was gonna make sure that I was like starting ahead if anything and then I think there was a second question oh while in it how did you take note I didn't really take notes some people took notes um, I learned by doing and so what I would do is while the comp while the teacher was going through the material I'd be coding along the it wasn't it was rarely ever a class where the teachers just like writing on like a board or, or like you know just saying things it would most of the time like 90 percent of the time the lessons would be coding something out and learning while coding and so i would code along that is how i learned best and then after that i would re-watch the lecture two three times to really get that practice and make sure i understood before i moved on so that's yeah yeah that's really how i went through those lessons next question comes from at new nesta who asks <laughs> what's your favorite animal my favorite animal by far is an elephant i love elephants i am a very sensitive person like who so so sensitive i'm so sensitive y'all um and so i love elephants because they feel emotions very deeply and they are very family oriented and i was actually born in zimbabwe and so i've gotten to go back and i've gotten to ride an elephant and that was just the most amazing time ever like i just wanted to cry the entire time just so amazing so yeah i really love elephants
I appreciate that more lighthearted question. <laughs> At modestly underscore magnificent asks, how are you liking your job? Did you contemplate engineering when you were a finance major? So, so far, I like this new job. The people are super chill. I think like the mindset is more like startup mindset. They're not really a startup. They have multiple locations, but I feel like that's more the mindset. It's very chill. It's very like do your job and you know, come again tomorrow. <laughs> like, like it's really um, fun and chill. And yeah, the people have been really great in like aiding in that, that training and that learning. So no, I really appreciate that. And did you contemplate engineering when you were a finance major? I didn't. Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. Fun fact, before I um, was a major in finance, I was a double major in finance and accounting, before I got into that business school, I actually enrolled into my college as a computer science major. And that's something that's like really funny to think about. It wasn't really because I wanted to learn to code. It was just like when I looked at the different career paths that all these different majors and all these different, you know, schools and colleges provided just engineering seemed like the thing that would afford me the life I wanted to see for myself, both like day to day and in terms of like financially and, you know, allowing me to uh, hit certain goals for myself and things like that but it had really nothing to do with the coding it was just like okay I guess you know this wouldn't be a bad life to have but then like a couple of weeks later I got a letter that I was accepted into the business school and so I just automatically switched over because that was actually the thing I had wanted really badly and so yeah I had never contemplated it so no it's funny how things come full circle with yeah starting off maybe not starting off but signing on as a computer science student and then four months six months after my graduation being hired as a software engineer so that's it's very funny next question comes from curly shawnee who asks does it matter whether you work at a tech startup or a large company as a first-time software engineering job after boot camp no <laughs> I don't think it matters at all to be completely honest I honestly don't think either is like bad or like good what you have to consider however is which you would be happier with because there's pros and cons with both and I do plan on making a separate video on this in the future so I won't go too deep into it but basically startups as you know, a developer at a startup, you can expect to wear different hats. Now that is something that some people may love and may keep some people sane because you're not doing the same thing over and over and over again. Because with a big company, odds are for every little thing that, you know, that company deals with, there is a person for that job. I like saw once that at um, Twitter or at Google, there is a team, a whole huge team, just for the comment like feature of like Google Docs. And so imagine, you know, being a developer on that team and spending a year just working on the comment box feature of Google. Some people that would just drive them insane, but then others, you know, they like the stability and they like knowing what their day to day will look like. So I really don't think it matters which one you choose. What it'll come down to or what it should come down to is which is best for your personality type and what um, you like to see day to day. Now going to part two of the question, do you think software engineering is stressful? If so, why? Yeah. <laughs> I definitely think software engineering is stressful. And for me, it's more because of how nitty gritty it can feel. You have to be so, so detailed in your coding and that's something that I see can get me and other people into trouble is skipping those steps of saying to the computer, reach here, look here, do this, do that. That's what gets people into trouble and that's kind of what has in my past has created errors for me and things like that because I'm not being extremely like da 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 in my process. Now that's something that we of course learn. I have definitely learned from my mistakes and I have definitely done better. But I do find it stressful when you 
think you are acting in that manner of making sure you are really coding out things step by step and yet your computer's like nah son like I can't find the peanut butter like you said it was in column three where where's column three like <laughs> it makes things difficult and so it can make things very stressful but also it can be very very rewarding when you can finally say at the end of the day this is the thing I have with my blood sweat and tears with my everything I have been pouring out here is my baby but yeah software engineering is stressful but it's also very rewarding and so part three of the question is also how do you remember everything when learning how to code I learn out of habit I think um, that has really been the best way I learn by not trying to memorize things I think it's better to learn how a process works and know why um, this process comes after this process in X Y and Z because I find that with memorizing things that's where you can get into trouble because now you're not actually understanding you're just memorizing and the thing about memorization especially with code is it'll work for that one app you're building but once you sw sw switch over to a new team it's not going to work because it's different functions and different inputs and x y and z and so it's more important to know the why behind things um because now when you switch over to the team you know that oh i know that when we want to do this we use this because the database works like x y and z and so the only way I get to do that is by practicing and then really seeing how the pieces fit together. That's at the end of the day what's going to carry us further rather than simply memorizing. So last question, at salsa underscore snob asks, what do you enjoy the most about development and what do you enjoy the least? The thing I enjoyed the most of development would have to be that amazing feeling you get when something works. When, um, yeah, you like type up a line of code and then refresh your page and like you see that element pop up or that design look correct and work correct. You just want to just scream in like excitement and just joy and it just makes like my whole day. Now, <laughs> what I enjoyed the least is the flip side of that, <laughs> the not working part and specifically how precise things need to be where you, you can spend an hour or more going in circles not knowing why your code isn't working and then you look back and see that there's a comma where it's not supposed to be and then boom, your whole app is there. There you go and you spent hours on this that makes me just like so furious and so mad like i can feel just like the fury running through my veins i just hate it so much but um but yeah at the end of the day it's all worth it getting to see that final product and being able to say like you know what i made that you see that I did that. So yeah, that's something I very much appreciate and enjoy. Thank you so much everyone for all of your questions. If you're watching this and some questions pop up for you, please do not hesitate to DM me at the Black Female Engineer or comment below. And yeah, let's get that conversation going. I love answering those questions for you guys. But yeah, this is super fun. I hope you enjoyed it too. And I will see y'all later. Bye y'all.